And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Aurelia Quinn. Going to be our first deck today. I uh, had definitely had some uh, requests to try this deck out. We'll, we will try Aurelia with Misfortune tomorrow. Of course, we did Aurelia with Azir yesterday. This one's going to be with Demacia and all about rallying. So that's what uh, we're going to want lots of attacks. That's what's going to be like the, the main focus of our deck. And of course, Aurelia is able to create the flawless duets that uh, let you blade dance for two for just one spell mana. And we have these different units that allow us to blade dance. And the blade dancing is important because we get the free attacks whenever we play these cards with the blade dance. And the free attacks will help us level up Quinn because we just need to attack four times to level up Quinn. And level up Quinn is really strong because you get to have a scout attack with that also puts a challenger into play, puts a valor into play every time it attacks. So level up Quinn really strong. And that's what we're going to try to be doing. So we're going to be playing Quinn and then blade dancing and getting a lot of attacks. We also have a couple of scouts. We, we ended up just going with two Grizzled Rangers in here just because there's a little too many fours having Grizzled Ranger and a Blossoming Blade. Um, and then we wanted to fit room for a Relentless Pursuit. So that kind of went in over the third Grizzled Ranger. Decided to still go Scythria over Genevieve. That, that's one that I'm not exactly sure about. Because, uh, of course, Genevieve has scout. Where's Genevieve? Um, Genevieve has scout wherever <laughs> Genevieve is. <laughs> There we go. There's Envy. Um, and so, you know, like that could be the six cost card, but I just feel like Cythria's ability with the plus one, plus one, and Fearsome, um, you know, this only gives the plus one, plus one the round you play it, but, you know, this gives it whenever you get to attack. That Fearsome is just so good. Uh, so I ended up going with Cythria. And of course, you know, it has the six, six body instead of five, four body. But I could see going Genevieve instead. So, like, that's, that's one I'm not exactly sure about. I feel like Syncopation is going to be great for us. We're going to try lead and follow. For the first time, another way to be able to get more uh, ways to blade dance. Um, and that's going to kind of be about it. So it's going to be all about attacking. So this is a, you know, is this list absolutely perfect? No. Where it's the you know first couple of days of the format where we are, you know, trying out new stuff. Um, so if you have different cards that, that uh, you particularly like that you want to play over some other cards, you know, go ahead. It's all about testing it and trying to find, um, trying to figure out the best combinations to go with the 40 cards. So let's go ahead and give us a try. Aurelia Quinn, we're gonna go play our five games in ranked. And we got Aurelia Azir for our first matchup. So we'll see how we do in the Aurelia mirror. Um, Champion spells the seven mana one. So I'm gonna mulligan this. And I think I'm Mulligan Relentless Pursuit. Oh no, double Scythria to find. <laughs> the, the two six mana cards you find right away, that's not ideal. We have a whole lot of two mana spells. So even if we don't play anything on turn two, if we have... Um, uh, if we can just save our spell mana, that will be useful. I guess there's no reason, well, I guess the reason to block is we save two life. The reason not to block is so that we can attack again and uh, go towards leveling up a really... Uh... I wish we didn't have to double Scythria. Hmm. Very aggressive start. Attack for nine on turn two. Half your life total. Ugh, that's aggressive. Break their spirits and their swords.
All right, so I'm going to have them kind of waste mana, but then, yeah, not be able to, like, play. As you saw, they had a Zeer right there. They wanted me to attack, and then they were going to play a Zeer afterwards. That was their plan. The two, I'm going to be playing Aurelia and Sparring Student this turn. I was just kind of trying to figure to figure out the order. War is an instrument that can make or destroy its leaders. Instruments create beauty. War ends it. I'll close my eyes and make it fair. The mulligan into the two Scythrias immediately was, was pretty rough. No combat spells for us, you know, no sharp sights or anything like that, and so... Oh, that hurts. I have two ran We're playing two Rangers Resolve in this deck for, like, this kind of matchup with how they have, like, all these, like, small attackers. Where, like, Rangers Resolve can be big time. Please, Quinn. Not Quinn. Really, I probably need like combat spell more than Quinn. Yeah, yeah. We play for the people and sing for the land. Zero is just a little too big for me. Okay, same matchup. I think it's going to go better than last time. I think having no spells whatsoever is... Like, you, you got to have spells, right? My opponent had a couple lead, lead of, uh, and follow. I almost said two follow. My opponent had a couple lead and follows. They had a couple of spells. That's a, a big difference, right? Like, that's... 
They also had a Zier, which looked great. A Zier looked great, but you gotta have a couple of spells. I can learn from watching you. The um, the one drop looked amazing, also though. Of course, that uh, that one drop was really good. Quinn, where are you? So our next deck that I'm playing, Zoe Shivana, you know, the reason why we're playing that, you're seeing like, well, that's that's not any new champions while we're playing Zoe Shivana. I think that Zoe Shivana deck is like I, I built it because because people were complaining um, yesterday, like on on YouTube, people were talking about how like this deck is too good, this Aurelia Zier, which I don't think it is. Yesterday we didn't lose to it, we just lost to it for the first time today. But anyway, uh, point is. The uh, the Zoe Shivana that we're playing in just a little bit is going to be amazing in this matchup. It's it's going to I I built it to just destroy the this Aurelia Zier deck. So we'll see how that plays out. But that's um that's what's it's built for. Do I want to Blade Dance or do I want to save spell mana? I'm not sure. Because it just does it does two damage and then gets a really to three out of twelve. That spell mana may be pretty useful. I really like a Quinn. We face them together, little blossom. Had three allies attack so far. Heck of a card. So both of these games, besides Aurelia, my opponent has found their other champion, Azir, and we have not found our other champion, Quinn. And, you know, like, that's... The champions are a big deal. They really are. Imagine if they had no Azirs and we had Quinns. Right? Like, so it's... It's just... It's kind of gone their way. I must give you steel. Stay by my side. I cannot ask for more. Let's dance. Is it 
Together, we are part of something more. Together, you are children of Shurima. So we know that they have another retreat, either either retreat or lead and follow. They have one of those two cards, as this you know as this card, and they have the dancing dancing droplet. Hurry, they await our signal. Because without without Quinn, all we're doing is just attacking with little one ones, right? Like we have no like other bonus, and it's just not as powerful as them, you know, getting the two ones and stuff. Like our deck is really built around having Quinn and leveling up Quinn. This is not over. Maybe I need a Mulligan more. Sandra Trendol. I like our chances here a little bit more. Because they're not going to play his ear. So that's already a good first step. We are not mulligating well. <laughs> Just double her relentless pursuit. Yuck. Escapes my watch. Showtime. For the homestead. Break their spirits and their swords. I think I'm going to wait a little bit on Aurelia. Coming at you. How about that? We found a Quinn. Well, well, well. We found a Quinn. Watch me now. Demacian needs heroes. We shall rally. Welcome to the team. Ugh. Ugh. Just like hunting pressure geese. Didn't didn't get any damage in on my Quinn. All in the shoulders. All right, so the Blighter Ravine is going to kill a bunch of stuff, but 
If they have nothing in their hand, they're dead. I hope it's just Ice Shard, because I have the Ranger's Resolve. So I hope they just have an Ice Shard. They need, like, a blocker, right? I guess I, I have... Yeah, but I have these. Like, even, like, a Vile Feast doesn't really save them. Alright, so I think that's game. Because that's going to be sick. Yeah, that's game. There we go. Rangers Resolve. GG's. We're safe for now. And that's why I play Avalanche instead of Lighter Ravine. So yeah, our deck, whenever we have Quinn, looks pretty good. <laughs> we kinda need... Quinn's kind of what our deck's about. Rewards. What we got? Ooh, that capsule looks pretty wild. Got some rares. So you said that you're playing um, Zillion Kindred Go Hard with three box and two Withering Will. I don't have any of the box or Withering Will in my version that we're going to be playing later. Uh, yeah, those are, those rallies did they did help end the game. Let's try a new hand. Man, Sharp Sight's a card? Forgot about Sharp Sight. We hadn't seen one of those yet. I already forgot about that card. That card's real good. Please don't have the 4-3. That card's unbeatable. Just play something else or play nothing. I'm going to hold on to Ranger's Resolve. Hold, hold on to that. Three so good. That should really just be like a three two.
Patience makes perfect. So I'm trying to think of like how I play around Blackspear. If I do play around Blackspear, that is. Grace. Maybe I don't. Just like hunting pressure geese. Is way too good. I demand satisfaction. Hardly fair. Protect and strike. Scouting ahead. So I like killing Curse Keeper because they just have all their ways to slay their own units and everything, and so that just it doesn't you know it really hurts like Blighted Caretaker, for example, right? Like Blighted Caretaker looks pretty good against me right now. And so getting rid of um getting rid of that curse keeper makes Blighted Caretaker a lot worse because then they have to kill like a 4 3. Ravenous Butcher, you know, like those kind of cards. With all the new cards, like, I, I don't think, like, the Blade Dances are too powerful or Aurelia is too powerful or anything like that. Like, I don't think Aurelia Azir is too good. Really, of all the new cards, the only card that looks like a mistake to me is this Merciless Hunter. That's the one card that is like, I don't know about this. So, if I play Blade Dancer, then... Like right now, I could I can have Quinn survive from a Vile Feast. So like if I play the Blade Dancer, a Vile Feast kills Quinn. But future Quins would be leveled up. I think if if Merciless Hunter was a three three and did not have Fearsome, it would be a really good card. It being a 4-3 and fearsome is <laughs> just kind of egregious. That that card's a mistake. Uh, man, this is a tough decision. I guess I shouldn't let it die to Vile Feast. I don't know why they're attacking that Merciless Hunter, but I love it. I love being able to trade here. Maybe they want the slay. Um, but now that, that makes my attack with Quinn much, much better this next round. I 
And now I have a, a good open attack with Quinn. Before I didn't. I guess I still kind of did before. Yeah, we're, we're about to have a great turn. Hopefully no uh, no Black Spear. Won't make a difference. They don't have a Black Spear. I would love to draw a spell that protects Quinn. Which, that doesn't really count. Alright, I need to get this attack in right away. Not gonna lie, I wasn't exactly expecting that. Good thing I didn't play <laughs> either of these cards in my hand, they're both one health things. Man, if only we would have top deck Rangers Resolve. Rangers Resolve has been an all star. With these, just everything is like dealing one point of damage. The wings. All in the shoulders. All right, so we're in top deck mode. That withering wheel was perfect. To have them down to four. So even though we get to like attack for two, like when you have your leveled up Quinn, like you know, like Azir, you, like you continue to get like a whole bunch of value with Azir. Same with Misfortune. Like anytime you'd have like a leveled up Azir, or leveled up Misfortune, any attack is amazing. With Quinn, not so much, right? That's just attacking for two. Like Quinn has to be the one attacking. So I do feel like Azir and Misfortune kind of line up with the blades a little bit better than Quinn, even though. You know, Quinn's a great attacker, but I walk through the ages. I will find someone. This too shall end. Focus. Focus. I don't think there's anything that we can draw in our deck to finish this out, I don't think. I guess another Quinn. Right. I don't think that really helps. Yeah, Tracker doesn't. GG's. Yep, we did. All right, Thresh Nasus again. So, you know, like, this is, you know, like, we're still testing stuff, right? Like, we're still tr just figuring things out and uh, kind of learning that, honestly, the, the Blade Dances with the Quinn doesn't really look that impressive, like, power level-wise. It looks kind of weaker. You know, definitely looked weaker than Azir. But, you know, doesn't really match up that well against this Thresh Nasus deck, I don't feel like. Um, I've been pretty disappointed with the 
with how Blade Dances and Quinn go together. So far, but of course it's early. We're, you know, I'm not saying that it could just be like my list, like right, like maybe we need to like tr change different things in the list. I am not saying that that this deck list is perfect. I've got your back. Honor guide me. Just don't want to die to Blighted Caretaker. I slow them down a little bit. Yeah, if Quinn summoned it as Valor whenever you attacked with anything, when you level up Quinn, you know, now we're talking. But the fact that Quinn has to attack, then the blade dances just don't really end up being impactful enough, I don't believe. Just like we practiced. So I can either Blinding Assault or Sharp Sight this turn. Withering Whale is just blowing me out. I guess the tracker's gone. Yeah, I guess the tracker's gone. gets traded there. Yeah, I don't I don't think our deck's very good. <laughs> sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, like all these little things are just kind of really underperforming. Everyone's a garden. All right, I'm done with it. <laughs> this will not be our end. Okay, so this list just looked a you know a lot less powerful than the Azir version with having, you know, how you just get all the bonuses for attacking all the time. Uh, this doesn't have it. So basically, what I think you'd have to do... So that doesn't mean that really and Quinn are unplayable together. But I think that this kind of list doesn't work of, like, being, like, this like this low to the ground and things like that. I think what you'd have to do with this kind of list is be a lot bigger and be more mid-rangey and, uh, you know, have, have bigger things and, and then single combats and stuff like that. So I think you could, you could still play you know, like your blade dance to go along with Quinn, but I don't think you'd want to necessarily play like these like little one drops and, and uh, things like that. Like I think you'd probably have to be playing, um, you know, maybe like some, some dragons, uh, like screeching dragon and things like that. And, and you know, go bigger and, and you're kind of more of like a, more of like a Fiora Shen type deck, right? Like I think that's where you kind of have to be, um, you know, and go bigger and uh be a more defensive oriented mid-range deck or you know like a, a you know like that kind of deck would that be you know like is that going to necessarily be the best i don't know either but just from from playing those games 
it definitely doesn't look like we can really compete against Thresh Nasus and uh, at like in this particular form. Um, so yeah, there's there's got to be. Yeah, I think we'd probably kind of need like more protection for our champs, more more uh, card draw. You know, maybe like you know river shapers and barriers and that kind of stuff. I'm not sure. Rangers resolve looked good. It definitely did, but all sorts of one health things were very meh. And um, having you know having just attacking with the you know blade dancing and attacking with little one ones really underperformed with Quinn. While it could help level Quinn up, it didn't help at all when you had leveled up Quinn, and when you didn't have Quinn in, in play, it just really didn't do very much. All right, so that's going to be it for Aurelia Quinn. Good things to learn, right? Those are not things that I that I thought of, you know, that I, I knew before going in, but that's, that's why we play the games. So we play the games, and um, hopefully y'all on YouTube, ho hopefully y'all learned some good stuff here too, right? You know, like, we'll, we'll post this video... Um, you know, as is, you know, like I don't, I don't just go through and and wait and just play five games of us winning all the time with a really Quinn and be like, yo, this is the best deck ever. No, you know, like some some decks work really well, some decks don't. And so, I wanted to show you, I always show y'all if you're kind of new to the channel, I always show y'all exactly how the games play out, real games. And so that's that's how our games uh, played out. I don't just go pick uh, games that we win and say that every single deck is great. All right, so that was some good learning experience. Uh, those y'all wait uh, watching later on YouTube, hit the like button and uh, leave some comments. Uh, hopefully, y'all learn some stuff too. Like I said, like you always, like we can learn m more from losses than wins a lot of the time. And so, hopefully, y'all uh, learn some stuff here and and enjoyed the video. So let me know. Of course, also let me know what kind of other champions you want to see paired together, and. Um, and yeah, and uh, you know, I'll get that. I'll get that going. All right, but that's gonna be it here for Aurelia Quinn. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.